Hi guys, I'm Shahzad and uh, welcome on our YouTube channel. Today we're going to discuss about the WooCommerce. Make sure if you are working on WordPress, you definitely know about the WooCommerce. WooCommerce is a plugin you can enable the e-commerce functionality by using the WooCommerce plugin in the WordPress. This is the crash course and you're gonna learn each and everything in a single video. We start from the zero like what is the WooCommerce, how can you install the plugin, how can you activate the plugin, how can you configure the WooCommerce setup, how can you create the products, how can you add it, update the products, a lot of things we are going to cover. How can you manage your orders, what are the things you have to learn in the WooCommerce. We also give you some tips and tricks in this video. Hello guys, I am Shahzad and uh, welcome in lecture number first. Today we are going to start our new series which is WooCommerce. So basically WooCommerce is a plugin available in WordPress. You can enable the e-commerce functionality by downloading and installing the WooCommerce plugin. WooCommerce gives you a lot of things like uh, how can you create your products, your how can you manage your orders, your coupons and many things. So before starting, uh, let me introduce myself. I am Shahzad and I have more than 8 year experience in web development. I have created thousands of websites in WordPress and other languages like uh, PHP and also Laravel and Coding Nighter. So we will discuss about the WooCommerce functionality in this series but the prerequisite are you need the PC internet connection and also you have the basic knowledge of WordPress because uh, if you are not familiar with WordPress it's hard to understand the WooCommerce functionality because WooCommerce is a plugin you can download and install the plugin in the WordPress while working on WordPress website so we are going to cover each and every things in this series like products like orders like how can you add the payment gateway i'm talking about the paypal and uh, also how can you manage your orders we will discuss about the variables and a lot of things we are going to cover in this series so thank you for watching okay so first of all what you need you just need to download the wordpress setup from the wordpress.org wait for a few seconds so here is your wordpress.org download the wordpress setup i have already downloaded okay so i have installed my server inside my c drive and i am using xam if you are using vamp or lamb it's totally depend upon you Okay, go to your XAM HD Docs and paste your WordPress here. Okay, if you are using the VAM, find your uh, VAM and www directory, and you have to keep this setup inside your www directory. Okay, so now what I need, I need to extract. Wait for a few seconds. Okay, I have extracted. So you can rename this for suppose your first store or uh, your project name. Oh, okay, in this case, I'm saying WooCommerce. Okay. So now we have our WooCommerce folder. This is our project. And now go to your localhost and PHP My Admin. So this is your PHP My. P P this is your php my admin and uh, i have already started my server so before starting you have to start your server vamp lamp or xamp okay so now create your database i'm saying this is my database okay this is woocommerce okay woocommerce head this create button so now you have created your woocommerce once again go to your local host Type your project name. In this case, we have WooCommerce project or folder name WooCommerce. Okay, so now, okay, cut all files and paste at the root. Delete this WordPress. Okay, so now you have all the files on the root. Okay, 
So refresh the page. English required things. Let's go. Provide your database name. In this case, we have we have created WooCommerce. Username is root. Password is empty because uh, we have connected with localhost environment. Table prefix. You can also set this skz or whatever you want to prefix. Submit. Run and install. your site name in this case i'm saying woocommerce password uh, username i'm saying woocommerce and password is also woocommerce okay confirm this is weak provide your email address and search engine visibility okay install the wordpress so this is woocommerce password and also woocommerce the username okay install now log in with your account we have created the woocommerce username and also password woocommerce remember me login okay now you have you have logged in and this is your admin panel one update is available so go to your update section and uh, check out which update is available okay so now as you can see you have your wordpress update so hit the update button okay so go to your plugin section you have one update available update your plugin okay you have updated your plugin hit the add new button okay so here you can find your word woocommerce plugin WooCommerce. So this is your WooCommerce plugin. One plus million active installation compatible with my version and last updated four days ago. They have updated four days ago. Okay, install. Hit the install button. Wait for a few seconds. After the installation, you can activate this plugin so you have successfully downloaded the woocommerce plugin so what you need you just need to activate this plugin hit the activate button and wait for a few seconds okay so now you have successfully activated the plugin so fill the form this is WooCommerce form. The following wizard will help you configure your store and get your start quickly. Okay, so what you need, where is your store located or you are selling, uh, where is your shop? Uh, so this is United Kingdom. And first of all, check your country where you are selling or where is your shop. So in this time, I'm saying Pakistan and provide your address. Okay and this is uh, select your state and choose your currency which currency you are accepting or you want to impact what currency do you want accept payment for suppose i am saying united state dollar okay what type of products do you plan to sell okay you have few options i plan to sell both physical and digital i plan to sell physical and products i plan to sell dig physical or digital so select anything which product you are selling or you are going to sell i will also 
be selling product or services in person so if you are selling some product or some services you have to check out this checkbox button okay so let's go hit this button which payment method you are going to embed for suppose woocommerce can accept both online and offline payment so accept so this is your paypal account and this is your offline payment if you are accepting your offline payment by check payments bank transfer cash on delivery you can also on these buttons okay for suppose i am saying uh, uh, cash on delivery okay uh, i am going to accept the paypal and also the cash on delivery continue okay so shipping cost you can choose which country you will be sh shipping to and which method okay you can select your shipping zone and shipping methods and weight unit kg g okay it's totally depend upon you centimeter or this is millimeter inches okay so continue i'm saying okay I'm saying two dollars and this is two dollars okay store themes so first of all which theme you are going to use storefront theme or mailchimp mailchimp is a plugin first of all and uh, this is I think also a theme I am saying okay continue jetpack you can also activate your jetpack plugin so continue with jetpack or escape this setup I am saying skip this setup okay so as you can see you are about to ready you are ready to start selling this is your email address and uh, you can also create your product and you can also import the product visit dashboard review settings and view and customize i am saying visit dashboard so you have successfully configured your woocommerce plugin or your woocommerce setting so wait for a few seconds okay so now as you can see you have your woocommerce section so your order coupons report settings stat, status extensions you have your pages and also you have your store so hit this visit store button so now as you can see you have your by default theme and you have your shop because I have not added any product yet so that's why it's showing empty no products were found matching your locations okay, so now what you need you just need to go to your product section so here is your product section and you have all products new products categories and this is your tags and this is your attributes okay so if you want to click on this it's totally depend upon you so this is your products okay so because we have not created any products yet so that's why it's showing create your product so if you want to create the product you can also hit this button and you can also hit this add new button okay so uh, hit this new add new button so you have your product name your product descriptions first of all and uh, you have your preview and also your uh, save as drop your publish button you can also select your categories from here you can also add your new categories by adding this link or button okay you can also provide some tags related with this product which you are going to add it or you are going to submit to your theme okay so now you can also select your product image and you can also add your product gallery images okay 
so now you have as you can see you have your product data so you have your simple data group product external affiliated products and variable product uh, don't worry we are going to explain each and everything in our later lectures but for now uh, we are going to start with simple product okay so this is your simple product and uh, this simple product belongs to virtual that means uh, you are selling the virtual product so as you can see virtual products are intangible and are not shipped uh, for suppose uh, your videos or your softwares or something like that okay so this is your down label so as you can see if you are selling the audio or video things you can also check this out okay so what you need you just need the regular price sale price and also you can schedule the sale price so this is your inventory where you can manage your in inventory either your product is available in in your stock or not so write your sku so sku refers to a store stock keeping okay so shipping you can also use your shipping settings here and also link product okay so you can uh, also link your product so here is your attributes you can select your attribute first of all if you are selling the t-shirts and uh, you have your small large and uh, medium variants okay so uh, here is your advanced option and you can also product short descriptions area you can also add your product short description area okay so this is your product sections now what you need you just need to hover on WooCommerce so as you can see you have your orders coupons reports settings status extends so okay so hit the order button because we don't have any order so that's why it's showing empty so this is your coupons where you can uh, add your coupons so here is your report you can uh, so last 70 sorry seven days and this month last one you can also okay so settings where you can uh, set anything for suppose your address your country and currency options you can also set your currency options here and also you can set your product so here is your product so this is your shop page okay and basically um, shop card checkout and my account these pages automatically created by woocommerce okay so now uh, you can change your measurements uh, unit okay dimensions reviews enable disable we will explain each and everything in our later lectures but now oh, we are just giving you some overview so here is your shipping you can add your shipping cost or something like this okay you have your payment method so as you can see we have cash and delivery payment method and we have a paypal okay so uh, how can you set up so if you want to add this oh sorry if you want to activate the paypal you can add the setup button and provide your some credentials like your email address and paypal id identity token invoice prefix and don't worry we are we are going to explain each and everything in our later lectures we are going to embed the paypal also okay so now account and privacy so here you can uh, set your account and privacy you can also select your privacy page so and also registration privacy policy something like this and you have a lot of options available here okay so on your email address so here is your email address sections so as you can see whenever someone order a new products an email is generated to this account cancellation order this account failed order this account email account okay so order on hold so woocommerce automatically send an email to the customer customers customer customers so as you can see you have your new account reset password cust customer note customer invoice order detail refund completed order processing order order on hold so woocommerce automatically send any email related with these 
actions to the customers and WooCommerce also send the email whenever someone order place a new order or the cancel the order or fail the order you can also manage this for suppose if uh, I want to say that uh, please whenever someone place any order send the email to this account and also with another account so again you do that hit the manage button so comma separate make sure comma separate and I am saying send also send the email to this email address info at shakesy.com first suppose change okay so now as you can see go to your email address so now you have your two emails whenever someone place a new product new order your WooCommerce automatically send an email to this account and also this account okay so you can also manage all of these so advanced setting where you can uh, set all the things card page checkout account page terms and conditions page secure checkout for https okay so now page checkout endpoint and also you have account endpoint options so these are the options available inside your settings so extensions you can also add some extra functionality to your WooCommerce account by adding the extensions as you can see you have your products section and you have all products add new category tags attribute sections okay hit the add new button so here you can uh, define your product for suppose if you your product title for suppose if you are selling uh, iPhone 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 6x plus okay so you can define iPhone 6x plus make sure this is the description section for suppose iPhone 6x plus for sale and blah 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 whatever you want to write here so you can uh, add your descriptions here and make sure this is the iPhone so the category is you can also define your category from here or you can create your categories by clicking this button so as you can see you have we are at the categories sections you can also create the categories from here so it's totally depend upon you for suppose I am saying that electronics electronics okay or the slug is also electronic slug means the URL okay okay so parent category so it's also a parent descriptions you can also use your descriptions at the category so this is your electronics category for suppose uh, phones or mobiles mobiles okay this is the this is also a category but it belongs to electronics category select your electronics category so you have added two categories here so this is the parent and this is the child dash means this is the child of this parent okay so now copy this bad boy refresh the page why am name because we have created two categories here okay so define your title and your descriptions your product descriptions here select your category as you can see we have created two categories electronics and mobiles so if for suppose if you want to create another category hit this button category for suppose I am saying uh, Apple okay select the parent category mobile is the parent category so add the category so as you can see you have your apple category and also select your mobile okay that means you are assigning this product to these categories okay so select your image you can also define your tags for suppose 32 gb ram 32 gb ram or whatever you want to add okay for suppose I am saying 32 
GB RAM. Okay, another tag. Okay, you have added. We have added two tags. Okay, select your image. So for suppose, where is the image? I'm saying this is the download sections. I'm selecting this image. For suppose, uh, just a second. I'm going to download. Six X plus images, and now I'm going to download few images so we can add the, th these images to our products. Okay. Okay, I have downloaded few images from the Google. This is your image. Select your image. We have added the product image okay so you can add the gallery images for suppose uh, i'm going to add another images one one two okay so i'm going to add these three images inside here gallery image okay so now before publishing you can preview your product so as you can see now you have your main product and these are the gallery images okay so iphone 6s plus so the categories are apple and mobile and the tags 32 gb and the tag so here is your descriptions so as you can see the descriptions here your product descriptions here and your reviews okay so what you need you just need to select the product data which type of product you are going to sell for suppose this is a simple product simple product means you are selling a book okay then you have a variable product for suppose if you have if your product have some variance for suppose if you are selling t-shirts uh, and uh, of course in the t-shirts you have your small large and extra large size for suppose you have your size color these type of variants so you can select your variable product group product for suppose if you are selling a group product for suppose six glasses inside a package so you can add you can select this group package okay if you are selecting external affiliated from the drop down as you can see product url product text that means your product you are selling the product which is not available in your stock so that's why you are saying external affiliated affiliate product okay we are choosing the simple product for now so this is the regular price for suppose we are selling this iphone 6s plus in 200 dollars okay so now uh, you can also add your sale price okay so in the inventory sections you have your sku that means SKU refers to a stock keeping unit. Okay, for suppose I am saying iPhone, iPhone 6s Plus. Okay, you can also enable manage stock. So hit hit the enable button, or you can also just set in stock, out of stock, out of stock, and on back order. Okay so it's, it's totally depend upon you and if you are selecting or you are enabling this options so as you can see you have your stock quantity for suppose we have 100 iphones in our stock okay and we have three options don't do not allow allow but notify customer allow that means allow back orders for suppose uh, if you have zero stock zero product inside your stock or in your stock your user or your client still can order this product if you are choosing allow okay do not allow or allow okay i am saying do not allow all big orders do not allow okay so shipping you can also add your shipping for suppose where i am saying 100 milligram whatever you want to add okay in the link product so leave as it is we will discuss this further 
okay attributes we will also discuss in further so advanced these are the advanced settings menu order purchase node etc okay but now we are ready to publish our product but before publishing our product as you can see we have two options for suppose if you are giving the title and the and the, and the descriptions and you are selecting a simple order you can also select the virtual and the downloadable for suppose if you are selling some videos and uh, something related with for suppose images and uh, or magazines you can also hit the download button someone pay you after the checkout the file is ready to download okay so virtual product virtual product are intangible and and are not shipped okay so you can also select these options but for now we are going to publish our product publish so go to your store as you can see you have your visited store so now you have one product here so as you can see you have iphone 6s plus and the amount is 200 dollars okay so go to your product and as you can see you have your 200 dollars if you are adding the sale price for suppose 150 and now hit the update button and open your store so now as you can see you have your 150 dollar the sale price and as you can see you have your sale options now enable but you have also uh, another descriptions area you can also define your product here and this is saying product short descriptions for suppose iphone 6s plus 32 gb in red green and blue color so these are the variants okay for now i am saying iphone 6s plus in 32 gb okay so now update the product refresh the page so now as you can see you have your you have your descriptions here and the other description is not available because this theme is not supporting this descriptions hit this add new link then you have your product so type your product name for suppose i'm selling a t-shirt so i'm saying my this is the name of your product my shirt okay so here is your description you can write your description here okay so you can you can also choose a category which is uh, now okay now it's not available create a category uh, for suppose shirts okay so add category assign the category to your product go to your google and uh, download t-shirt download image okay so here is your image for suppose you are selling the t-shirt the same t-shirt in red black red and white okay so download this i am saying black and i am saying this is red and now i am saying this is white okay this is white okay so now select your image and we have downloaded few images so select your images for suppose red we have downloaded red so here is your black first of all and where is the red here is the red and where is the white so here is your white three images we are uploading three images okay select by default image i am selecting this black image and also it's available in these colors okay so now you have your t-shirts for suppose i'm saying t-shirt this is the tag okay write your short description here about t-shirt here okay now what you need just need to select the variable product in this time okay 
if you are managing your stock hit this stock button and you can manage first of all go to your if you are adding the shipping cost you can also add the uh, weight dimensions and shipping class okay you can link your product don't worry about it so go to your attribute sections and add attribute so now for suppose color color and now add your colors red or suppose red make sure this line okay this is the or sign okay this is the or sign single line okay so now red white i'm selling this t-shirt in many colors for suppose red white and green okay you can also use you can also check this checkbox used for variations okay for now save this attribute and publish your product now preview your changes so now you have your t-shirt so as you can see you have your black color is by default white and this is a red color okay you have three colors you have black color here you can also delete this now update refresh so you have your three colors awesome okay this is the additional information color red green blue so now what you need you just need to because it's out of stock now we have to add the price so where you can add your price so go to your variation section attribute so here is your color check out this button use for variation save it okay so now go to your variation section select your variation you can also create your variation for suppose click your variation or you can add your variations for your product for suppose create variation for all attributes you have your attribute red green red black and white so create simple or one variation by choosing this add variations and you can add your variations here for suppose if you are selling this red for i am saying any color now i am saying i am selling this t-shirt in 25 dollars so you can also write your descriptions weight dimensions and sale price also so save this button preview changes so now as you can see you have your three colors red white and green okay it's 25 dollars all all t-shirts are available in 25 dollars okay so what you need for suppose if you are selling this t-shirt in 25 dollars and this white t-shirt in 30 dollar and this red t-shirts in 35 dollars so how can you do that first of all go to your variation section and now create your variation remove this first of all now create your create your variation for all attributes okay so you have three variation right white green so open this and now add your regular price 25 dollar so you are selling the red in 25 dollar for suppose or uh, and you are selling the white in 30 dollar and you are selling the green in 35 dollar okay save the changes you can also add your weight dimensions and uh, other things so update your product preview changes so now as you can see you have your 20 from 25 dollar to 35 dollar your t-shirt so choose your red color so you are selling the red in 25 dollars choose white color you are selling your uh, white color in 30 dollars choose your green color you are selling the t-shirt in 35 dollar for suppose uh, 35 dollar so add to cart so as you can see this is 35 dollar and now what you need just need to check out so where is the check out so here is the check out
provide your name and uh, address so you are selling the 35 dollar okay so now go to your first of all i'm removing this go to your shop now select option i'm selling the white one add to card check out so proceed to check out and you are selling your white t-shirt in 30 dollars okay you have your one color for suppose this is the spec you have your spec uh, which is color and you have three variations red white green for suppose if you are selling the iphone with your uh, capacity of uh, for suppose uh, internal storage or ram so how can you manage more than one variation okay so now what you need you just need to go to your all products you have your iphone 6s plus added this one now open this and you have your simple this is your simple product you have your iphone 6s plus now we are going to add the storage option and uh, color and also ram for suppose uh, go to your product change the product type in this time this is the variable product now okay go to your attribute add your attribute I'm saying the color for suppose gold make sure this is the or sign if you are adding two sign this is or okay red for suppose white or black so this is the first variation red okay save this now we are going to add another variations which is another spec which is capacity or drive internal storage i'm saying it comes 32 gb 32 gb and uh, 64 gb and i'm saying 128 gb okay so now i'm going to create variation for this internal storage go to your variation section create your variation for all your attributes three variations added okay so i'm saying now select create variation for all your attribute select one select go okay it's saying three variations added wait for a few seconds hit the ok button so you have three variations 32 gb 64 gb and 128 gb now you can set your price here you are selling 32 gb i think uh, in 300 dollar for suppose 300 dollar and you are selling your 64 gb uh, four hundred dollar for suppose and you are selling the 128 gb five hundred dollar so five hundred dollar okay save changes preview changes so now as you can see you have your internal storage 
64 GB, 128 GB. You are selling 64 GB and 64. Okay, go to your 32 GB. I think I have added. So this is not a void. It's a price. Price now. Save. Refresh. So now you have three 32 GB, 64 GB, 128 32 GB. You are you have 32 GB. Okay. You have 64 GB and you have 128 GB in 500 dollars. Okay. So now what you need, you just need to go to your attribute, colors, and create the variations. Save this variation. So as you can see, you have your variations. Go to your changes preview. So now as you can see you have your two specs color internal storage select your color and I'm selecting the 128 GB so it's in 500 add to card so as you can see you have your 300 dollars and the color is gold now I'm saying check out proceed to check out where is the check out view card okay it's looking fine so as you can see now you have your iPhone 6s plus the color is gold the storage is 128 GB you have selected okay so now I am going to buy iPhone black color for suppose and 64 GB so add to card so here is your black color iPhone 6s plus color black view card so this is your card proceed to check out so now as you can see you have your color flag and turn us okay so now what you need you just need to edit your product so which product iphone 6 plus product you can also edit from the top so as you can see you have your added product area and you can also edit your product from here so it's totally depend upon you so go to your variations and now you have your three variations 300 so add the sale price here so i'm saying 250 255 dollar you're selling your regular price is 300 dollars and you are selling your product 255 dollar 250 dollar not five okay so now your your actual price is 400 dollar but the discount is 355 dollar 50 rupees discounts not rupees but dollars 500 i am saying 400 dollar save this okay so now view changes so as you can see you have your sell tag area and uh, you are selling 255 dollar from 255 dollar to 400 dollar so select your color and your storage 128 dollar you are selling four hundred dollars okay so add to card so press proceed to check out so where is the checkout proceed to check out so now as you can see you you are selling your iPhone 6s plus in four hundred dollars so 128 GB so in this way you can add the discount I'm not talking about the coupons i'm talking about the discount okay so, so this is the sale price i'm talking about the sale price so how can you give the review go to your shop your product so here is your review section your rating here two rating four or five rating i'm give uh, i'm going to add the five rating so i'm saying here is my review okay submit so now as you can see you have your here is my review go to your panel and uh, your product all product so uh, this is your product and these are your reviews and your payment so as you can see you have your cash on delivery by default it's activated so what you need you just need to activate the PayPal options so how can you do that first of all set up you have 
some before adding your PayPal account, what you need just need to add the live API username, live API password, and live API signature. So how can you do that? So you have your PayPal standard, you have PayPal sandbox. So what is sandbox? You can check the PayPal either it's working or not. So copy this sandbox PayPal. So go to your PayPal. So this is the sandbox. It's for developers. Log in with your sandbox and you can test. So don't worry, we can we will do that in our next lectures. So go to your PayPal. Log in with your account. Provide your email and password. So go to your tools, my tools, API credentials and find your API integration classic options. You or your developer integrate NVP SOP or classic API that allows you to accept him in via PayPal. Okay, so manage API. I have already created the API. So as you can see, uh, I have username, password, and signatures. So <laughs> I'm not going to show these my credentials. So done or remove this one and you can create from the scratch. Once you create the username, password, and signature, then just click on the show, show, show button and copy that content from username and you have to put this username here for suppose this username api username here and your password goes here and your signature so as you can see you have uh, optional signature is optional but you can also add your signature uh, while activating or while enabling your payment option which is the paypal so in this way you can add the paypal options so i am copying so i have added and this is my api password and this is my signature so i have added refresh so now go to your checkout page refresh the page so as you can see okay so activate your also activate your paypal options save now go to your page refresh the page so as you can see now you have your paypal options hit the paypal options and proceed to checkout for suppose okay billing phone is required where is the phone here is the phone okay so proceed to check out so now as you can see it's redirecting uh, from your site to paypal account so your client can insert or add the paypal so as you can see uh, it's saying 402 us dollar or cancel the order return to check z okay so now uh, <laughs> so as you can see I have just cancelled the order. Go to your WooCommerce settings, payment, payments, and now manage your PayPal account. So, as you can see, you have your enable PayPal sandbox account. So, you have to enable this checkbox by, you have to enable this checkbox to check either your PayPal account is working or not. So how can you do that? Check this. Save changes. First of all, now go to your sandbox. So as you can see, you have PayPal sandbox. Go to your Google. Type PayPal sandbox. So you have your first result. Hit this button or hit this link. So login with your account. 
so i have my account and now log in with provide your credentials and log in now so now as you can see you have your sandbox account under your sandbox you have your accounts section and create your account so i'm going to create the account so as you can see you can choose your country and personal or business account and here i am saying woocommerce at shakti.com make sure this is the dummy email address you can provide your email address here provide the password i am saying the woocommerce 123 and dollar sign so this is the password first name last name is uh, optional for suppose i am saying hello ahmed and uh, uh, the amount is i have uh, 1500 in my this account this email address okay so now select your credit card visa master discover american express so note is uh, okay fine woocommerce is already exist for suppose i am saying woocommerce not woocommerce i am saying that uh, my woocommerce it's saying my woocommerce at shakesy.com you can also write for suppose test at shakesy.com and whatever you want to add because i have already uh, email at, i have already created some sandbox email so as you can see i have already okay check because i have created uh, the email address so go to your now provide your for suppose my woocommerce my woocommerce at shakesy.com password is my woocommerce 123 and dollar sign email uh, First name, last name is required. One thousand five hundred in my account. PayPal. Provide your credit card. Create your account. So you have created your account. My WooCommerce. As you can see, My WooCommerce at Shakti. dot com. So what you need just need to test either it's working or not. Go to your shop section. Product. Add to cart. I have already added in my cart. check out so as you can see i have already filled all the fields so select your paypal account proceed to paypal okay so as you can see now log in with your account which we which we have created uh, in our sandbox so in this time my woocommerce at shakti.com so this is my woocommerce at shakesy.com so password is my woocommerce 123 and log in with your account so just a second you have now going to log in with your account which we have just created in our sandbox so agree terms and conditions wait for few seconds So uh, in this time they are saying ship to Shahzad Ahmed the one main uh, because I have provided this uh, e uh, address so pay now so as you can see four hundred and twenty dollars so this is your check out okay I'm saying pay now I'm going to pay from my account which we have just created in our sandbox so as you can see you have paid four zero two U S dollar to this email address this is my official email address and this is original and real paypal account so we have just so this is your receipt number this is your we will send information to commerce@shakti.com and merchant is shakti1718 at hotmail@gmail.com so go to your woocommerce settings and uh, go to your account and privacy setting so you can read and you can check some check box here and as you can see you have your privacy page so we have not created the privacy page so create your privacy page here i'm saying privacy i'm saying privacy here 
publish this page and now refresh the setting page go to your account and privacy select your page so privacy we have just created privacy page save changes so now go to your store so as you can see you have your privacy where is the privacy so here is your privacy page so here is your privacy page so check out so your privacy policies hit this button so you have your privacy policy also so as you can see you have your personal data will be used to proceed so this is your privacy policies now this way you can add your privacy policies so once again go to your email setting sorry woocommerce and settings and your emails so as you can see it's saying new order emails are sent to choose recepts when a new order is received that means whenever someone place any order to our store uh, the order email sent to these email these emails so how can you manage so manage in this time i'm using two emails info and this email address so if you are adding some other email address separate with comma add the comma and add or suppose your account your account at gmail.com so save changes so now whenever someone place any order the order information sent to this email address this email address and also this email address cancellation order if if someone want to cancel the order the email address will send to this email address okay so failed order order on hold on hold okay Pro processing order complete order refund order so these orders our system send to these order to our customer 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 okay so in this way you can uh, add your privacy section emails you can manage your emails and also you can add some channel setting so what are the general setting you can add the address here postal address so selling location you are selling your products to all the countries all over the world default customer location you are located so enable taxes you can enable the taxes if you are um, if you want to receive the tax or if you want to pay the tax so currency is united states you can also change the currency from here so currency position left right so thousand separate separate with decimal numerical of decimals okay so change anything here so go to your product you can also add to cart behavior so as you can see redirect to the cart page after successfully addition so you can also check out this okay so this is your shop page you can change your shop page if you have any okay so now weight unit kg decimal you can also change the weight unit and dimension unit okay so review enable review or product rating enable start rating on reviews you can enable or disable the rating okay so go to your shipping setting you can also set the shipping setting here so if you want to add the shipping so add your zone name zone region and your shipping method so go to your woocommerce you have your coupons sections create your first coupon okay let's okay no not just a second create your first coupon get create your first coupon okay so now you have to add your coupon name for suppose i am saying woocommerce coupon okay you can also add dashes or something like that it's totally depend upon you okay i am adding the dash okay woocommerce coupon add your descriptions if you need anything for suppose description here discount type so select your discount type fixed card discount fixed product discount or percentage i am saying 100% that means it's free i am saying 95% that means the discount type is percentage and it's 95% off it's totally depend upon you in this time i am saying 
okay uh, when your coupon expires so select your date for suppose uh, it expires after two days so today is the 15 7 2018 i am saying it expires after two days two days okay so usage of coupon so in individual use only okay first of all minimum and, and maximum is spent you can also select anything select your product for suppose so select your product which coupon you want to add in your product if you are going to add this coupon to all, all of your product just leave it uh, empty otherwise write the coupon name for suppose success plus so this is your I am going to discount this iPhone success plus hundred percent okay so usage limit I am saying that the limit of the coupons is 200 and user limit per person is one so publish this so now I have this coupon just uh, promote this coupon um, on your social networks on via email so go to your product so this is the product I have already this product in my cart so check out <laughs> we have connected in local so that's why it's showing this error control f5 I don't know why it's okay so now where is the coupon so hit this button so use your coupon apply wait for few seconds check out your it's saying fail to load the reserve service replace with internal 500 so it's giving us error so refresh the page now add your coupon here apply so you have added the coupon so now it's totally free so as you can see you have four hundred dollar and coupon fee is four hundred dollar total two because okay you have you are shipping amount is two so that's why we are receiving two so what you just need to go to your WooCommerce setting remove your shipping amount uh, your shipping delete okay now re refresh the checkout page use your coupon remove your coupon first of all and remove this remove this one add your product so now select the iPhone select your color your capacity or your internal storage you, we have added proceed to check out so now as you can see you have your 25 25 dollars okay so what you just need to add your coupon if you have so coupon I am saying what is the name of our coupon so go to your coupon I forgot the name I think it's WooCommerce okay WooCommerce coupon <laughs> apply your coupon coupon is applied successfully now it's zero dollar place order so you have successfully placed your order with discount okay so this is the order go to your page refresh the page so as you can see you have just received the order coupon so as you can see we have few orders so we have one order is processing four minutes ago because in our previous lecture we learned how can we place an order and how can we use a coupon so uh, as you can see you have your order click on this you can view the orders detail so you can see you have your order detail paid on july 15 so this is the billing address this is the shipping address and this is the email address with the phone number of your client so as you can see you have your amount iphone 6 plus and the total amount 250 dollars and one coupon is using the discount is 250 and the total price and the total price is 250 so okay so in this way you can manage your orders. so go to your orders and now by default it's processing so select your order 
select your options for suppose change status to processing change status to on hold change status to complete remove personal data so you can change the product status by choosing any of these so it's by default processing because it's processing uh, if you want to change the status to on hold just select apply so it's now on hold uh, and and definitely so go to your settings so you can see whenever you want to change any order an email sent to the client so as you can see processing completed refund on hold custom your system can send an order if you want if, if you are changing your status so on hold order processing and complete orders so these email sent to the customer and who is the sending these emails the book hours okay so if you want to change the status just complete apply so now as you can see now your order is completed so this is your order and it's completed but and uh, so as you can see now it's saying pending payment so why it's saying pending payment because uh, we have ordered with our sandbox so that's why it's saying pending because we have not received any paypal amount yet so how can you verify just Just a second, I'm going to show you the product and the amounts. So here is your orders. So as you can see, we have received some amount here so it's saying cancel 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 so these are the completed so these are the completed orders so in this way you can uh, manage your orders so i think this is enough for today in the next lecture we are going to cover some other things but now for now you can also generate just a second you can also generate order from your dashboard so as you can see you have your order select your payment completed okay the user uh, i'm saying woocommerce or select your user so these are the billing address and the shipping address so add your item for suppose add your product i'm saying phone success plus add so this is the amount success plus cost and calculate you can add some notes you can add email invoice you can also send the email invoice or send new order notification okay or recalculate okay now create go to your appearance theme so as you can see we have we are now we have now the store front theme okay so this is the theme we have selected so go to your plugin sections these are the plugins and now go to the appearance theme we are going to select another theme add theme so you can easily understand how can you select any theme so this is the free theme and uh, definitely uh, we have a lot of themes available for free and you can also purchase any themes from the theme forest or anywhere so i am saying the e-commerce so these are the e-commerce theme you can select any themes from here how can you select just detail preview so as you can see you have your detailed preview so you can also view the reviews and also the rating so install this i am installing this 
ultimate e-commerce theme so install this theme and after installation you have to act activate this theme so we can work on, work on it so activate so as you can see we have uh, our warm creating to you we are much okay welcome document you can also view the documentation of this theme <laughs> okay you can also view the you can also change the customization support forum reviews and go go pro okay so now what you need just need to go to your plugins so you can see it's saying okay it's the old version of the theme you as you can see you uh, they are saying the theme content outdated copies of the woocommerce template so go to your uh, sorry appearance theme we are going to select another theme e-commerce select the theme we are going to select the VW theme install now so this is the beauty of WordPress you can change your themes anytime anywhere by clicking a single button so activate this theme so as you can see we have just activated the theme now go to your store as you can see now it's looking good okay so this is your theme and now go to your welcome to page so this is the welcome to WP e-commerce theme getting started so this is the home section and you can also view the documentation each theme has its own documentation so don't worry about it so as you can see they are saying the installation process so how can you install how can they are saying upload and okay so this is the layout setup slider section so how can you set the slider section in order to set up the slider so create a new page and name it as slide one or whatever you want okay so go to your page or demo they have demo or not once you create they have demo or not create the page to set the okay so now go to your pages they are saying just create a home page and select your template so it's not here so click create your home page I'm saying the home page home page and now select your template so you can see this is the custom template home page template so select your template so they are also saying that label it home or anything as you wish then select the template home page from the template drop down so you can see okay so now if you have selected publish so they are saying that go to the settings reading so I told you that every theme has its own widgets and every theme has its own settings so go to your reading so static page in this time I'm saying home change now go to your page you view your websites so you have just so this is your website now how can you create so these are the categories here so as you can see we have few categories and these are the categories first of all so how can you create the slider so you can see the, this is the slider so follow the documentation setup slider section so how can you do that page and name it as slider and whatever you want to <laughs> write your name seats features images title and the content uh, repeat this process for other slides okay so now go to your pages page add new page slide one and they are saying that add the image feature image title and the content 
so feature image where is the feature image this is the feature image and now i'm going to add the, some sliders just a second i'm going to download some sliders so these are the sliders for suppose so these are the dummy sliders don't worry about it sliders and this is the third one this is the third one okay so now upload your images which we have just downloaded one two three okay select your image this is the future image you have righted your title so they are saying that image title and content repeat this process for other sliders so uh, i'm saying this is this is about slider one publish i'm saying the slide two slide two this is about slide two select your feature image Select your feature image and uh, okay. Publish. I'm saying slide three. So this is slide three. This is about slide three. Select your feature image. Publish. Now, as you can see, now they are saying go to appearance, customize. WP setting slide settings and select the pages which you have created for the slide 1 2 3 and 4 so now go to your store customize and they are they are saying WP settings the VW settings so they have VW settings and they are saying slide settings so these are the slide settings so select your page for suppose slide 1 and slide 2 in this time slide 3 so publish go to your page refresh the page so as you can see you have your slides here so th this is the by default theme setting so i told you that every theme has its own uh, functionality has its own widgets has its, has its own settings so we are using these pages so why slide 1, slide 2, slide 3 is showing here. So go to your appearance, menus and select your menu. So as you can see, uh, select your menu. This is the menu. Remove this. Remove this one. Also remove this one. And also remove this one. Okay sorry sorry okay we have created menu one first of all and now just primary menu select this primary menu save and go to your store refresh the page so now as you can see we have just removed the sliders so set up top bar section so how can you set up go to appear customization W VW settings to top bar section. So go to the customization first of all. Top bar section. This is the top bar section. I'm saying what is the top bar section? Text one, text two, and text three. So this is the top bar section, and I'm adding the phone number. So you can uh, set the top bar sections here, back, top bar sections and now social icon. You can add the social icon for suppose uh, add YouTube links. So YouTube, so I'm going to add, I'm going to add another song, so don't worry about it. So I'm going to add this, okay. So this is the YouTube and facebook so go to your facebook 
this is our official page so this is your facebook and twitter so this is the twitter account add your twitter account here and this is your instagram account so add your instagram account here so add your instagram publish and now they are saying trending products so select your title title here and select your page for suppose shop page okay or view your documentation setup social icon we have already set up set up footer section so leave remove this for, for now and now footer section so copyright section so this is the copyright section footer section copyright section i am saying shakzi publish this go to your so as you can see this is the first shakzi wp theme settings so now what you need this is the instructions and uh, the help template installation set up home page how can you set your home page theme settings this is the theme settings set up navigation bar so how can you set your navigation bar here page templates and sidebar so these are adding categories so you can add your categories login with your wordpress create your category after then click the add new categories publish it and now add new categories create a uh, block sections okay what you need we have created this one and by the way what is the image go to your appearance WooCommerce dashboard and now appearance widget so, so this is the widget area so this is the footer 1 footer 2 footer 3 so add the calendar in footer 1 calendar in footer 2 calendar in footer 3 and calendar in footer 4 so go to your page refresh the page you have successfully added four categories or four calendars here so, so now you have remove all of these you can add what what you want to add here so first of all i want to add the site map menus so this is the navigation menus i'm saying site map select your navigation menu here go to your page refresh the page so this is your site map okay so you want to add the social icon or what you want i'm saying that i i am going to add the categories so these are the categories so, so you have your categories change your style category style uncategorized and show the hierarchy so this is your uncategorized hierarchy because in your product section go to your all products and your edit your products so you have your t-shirt and you have your icons categories inside your categories you have your these categories okay so i'm saying display as a drop down so this is a drop down you can add anything in your widget area so you have two widget area you can also add gallery images navigation bar product categories so this is your product categories not categories remove this this is your product categories refresh the page so these are the product categories which we have created and now in your third area add the meta for suppose meta and add your calendar or archive whatever you want to add okay so go to your page refresh the page you have four widget area so go to your dashboard and then as you can see you have your appearance and this is your about w vw e-commerce theme so hit this link so as you can see they are 
saying something here so go to your you have uploaded you can upload your logos here first of all your site logo your page title and your tagline here and you can also add your fave icon so what is your fave icon so this is your fave icon so as you can see so this tiny image is your fave icon okay so go to your sliders we have added our slides so you can add also slides here and now they have trending products they have trending product here so how can you add that first of all create the page named trending so this is your trending page and write something trending products okay publish this so if you don't know about <laughs> so i consider that you have the basic knowledge of wordpress so go to your pages so add new page you can create the trending page here i have already created the trending trending page so go refresh the page so now as you can see it's showing the trending page so how it's showing the products so go to your page view all page and uh, added this trending page so as you can see i have copied some short code so this is the short code they are providing where is the trending so this is the trending so they are saying that please copy this short code and paste it in your product so as you can see this is the category shirt i'm fetching all the product from the category sections okay so column is four okay so that's why it's showing the product in our trending section so this is the theme setting so i already told you that every theme has its own functionality and has its on widget areas so, okay so now what you need just need to add some other product inside your shirts category so go to your product so you have your categories so you can see you have your t-shirt categories you can also add your mobiles or electronics but i have added shirts okay so add product why it's showing single because we have we only have a single product in our shirts category okay so i'm saying second products product here copy this and i am writing some dummy stuff add your theme make sure you can uh, also select your simple product or your variation product okay so it's totally depend upon me this time i'm saying this is a simple product i'm saying to uh, the sale price is two hundred dollar. The actual price is two fifty dollars. The sale price is two hundred dollars. So select your feature image. Also select your gallery image. So gallery images. Publish. Go to your page. Refresh the page. So now, as you can see, you have your two items showing at your trending section okay so what you need you just need to add another product so in this way i'm saying this is second in this time it's a third product copy this bad boy and paste this here because we don't have a dummy data okay this is a simple product i'm saying 300 but the sale price is 250 select your category first of all you can also place your text here select your feature image so this is a feature image select your category image okay publish this add another product in the same category uh, add new so I'm saying fourth product you can also write your product name I'm just showing you so this is the fourth product okay select your category so add your tags select your feature image select your images set your price i'm saying 500 but the actual the sale price is 250 dollars so publish go to your page refresh the page so as you can see you are showing the four images in your trending product you can also add 
more than four images so how can you add this create the fifth product I'm saying fifth product add this product in this category actual price is four hundred dollar the sale price is one fifty dollars select your feature image black is the feature image select your product gallery so this is your product gallery okay make sure this is a simple product we are not adding the variations okay go to your page refresh the page now as you can see you are showing the fifth product here okay also go to your pages all pages and edit this trending page set this column 5 update go to your WooCommerce so as you can see it's showing like this so it's totally depend upon you and it's totally depend upon your theme setting because this is the free theme so that's why uh, we don't have a uh, uh, extra features or extra options so as you can see you have your categories so go to your category product categories add your categories shirt and uh, add your thumbnail update go to your page refresh the page so now as you can see the thumbnail is showing uh, in the left sidebar you can also added the mobile so this is your mobile you can also add the electronics devices so go to your page refresh the page so it totally depend upon you and your theme so that's why I'm saying that uh, this is the theme which is the free theme so now go to your home page so this is your home page and this is your shop page so you can see you have your shop page you have your archive sections you have your presented or well, by the way these items coming from the widgets area so go to your appearance for widget area so as you can see you have your block sidebar and this is your sidebar page sidebar search this is your sidebar so yeah I, it's saying recent post so recent post remove this so now it's saying the recent comments so these items coming from this widget area so every theme has its own widget area so this theme has one two three four five six seven widgets area these are the areas uh, you can uh, break and drop any widget inside here that means these are the option in the theme so maybe if you have another theme uh, maybe that has uh, more than five or seven widgets so it's totally depend upon your theme so select your theme open this so as you can see it's currently showing these are the images and these are the settings gold and i am saying 64 gb add to card so we have added inside in the card so go to your card 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 where is the card because my account so this is the checkout section so this is the checkout sections three fifty five dollars paypal and now add your place your order here so in this way you can add the free theme or any theme for suppose if you want to add another theme so go to your appearance theme section activate or oh, add new theme I'm saying e-commerce activate any theme from the list so these are the free themes okay so in this time I'm going to add this install I'm going to install this theme so I already told you that every theme has its own functionality has its own widget area so it's totally depend upon your theme so I have installed so activate this theme so now as you can see uh, this theme required these plugins so that's why we have to add these plugins we have to install these plugins so install these plugins wait for a few seconds so it can download the plugins from the store or from the theme 
four teams is required okay now what you need just need to go to your home page so as you can see it's showing currently showing like this why it's showing currently like this because I already told you that every theme has its own setting and has its own widget area so in this time we have only one two three three widgets area oh first of all you have to activate all of them activate okay so now go to your appearance widgets so we have three widgets area this side shot side bar shop sidebar and this is a sidebar footer okay now this is the settings and now what you need you just need to go to your customization area and select your customization setting home home setting so you are saying this is the home setting and so it's totally depend upon you so if you don't know about this theme just go to the theme and uh, you have to view the documentation every theme has its own documentation so i hope guys you are enjoying our videos if you think we are doing good thumbs up feel free to share our courses and also the videos and please support us by clicking the subscribe button and pressing the bell icon so thank you for watching